Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Sam's Automotive, bringing another episode how DIY yourself. All right, I'm going to show you today how to retorque a 4.0 engine. Uh, this is a Nissan engine, a 4.0. All right, I'm going to show you <clears throat> real quick what's the layout in this thing. As you can see, um, uh, this head, uh, this head right here is composed by one, two, three, four, five steps, okay? The first step is torque to 72 foot pound, okay? The second step is to loose them all. So you gotta loose them all. Now remember one thing in this head, okay? Uh, this head, you remove this head on the reverse way that you did it, all right? So in this case, um, I'm working on the left and the left hand, which is that's how it's supposed to be. That's my left hand, this one. All right. So again, let's just start all over, okay? So we can get this straight. A step first, 72 foot pound. A step two, loose them up all the way. A step three, 29 foot pound, okay? Third, that would be one, two, three, fourth step, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. All right. Now, when it comes to that step, I know a lot of you guys uh, gets a lot of confusing. It's very confusing this in this method. My case, I have uh, what you call it um, at Cobalt um, digital meter. All right. So with this guy, what I can do is um, I can change uh, my parameters. That's newtons. That's inch pounds. That's foot pounds. Kilograms. In my degrees, I can go up, I can go down. All right. If you don't have one of these machines, which I think uh, they're very inaccurate, I just did it. And I didn't, I didn't like the way uh, this one went. All right. So I'm going to show you how you can just do that with the brake bar. It's really easy. So what they call it, they call it for 90 degrees. All right. So pretty much 90 degrees is if we draw a pie here. All right. Everybody should know that when you guys took geometry. That is 90 degrees, all right, right there. All right, so how are you going to apply this to that head? Very easy, okay. I have used this method. I never had one of those uh, digital, or you have to get like a gauge, a special one. Um, it's not a big deal. All right, so you're still in the head, okay. After you got 29 pounds there, what you want to do is, all right, so let's picture this. Uh, all right, let's picture. All right, so let, let's do it with the, with, the old, um, with the old bolt. All right, let's see a clean one. There's a clean one. All right, so this apply. There we go. All right. So let's say you got 90 pounds, all right? I'm sorry, 29 pounds, all right? Okay, after you got to this step right here, right here, 29 pounds. What you wanna do is, you, put a, you wanna put a mark right here, a straight mark, okay? Then, you're gonna come with your, uh, with your brake bar, all right? And you're gonna bring this like this. Okay, there you go. That's your 90 degree, 90, 90, 90 degrees, all right? So make sure that this thing is actually pointing right straight at your head. That's your 90 degrees, all right? Then the manacles goes another 90 degrees, all right? So here we go. We come and torque it. There you go, right there. That would be 290 degrees, two turns, okay, of 90 degrees, okay? So now, this guy, it's got to face 
it's got to face me, all right? So that's it. You go to a step of every single one, okay? And this is uh, this is the, uh, the, what do you call it, the, how they torque, okay? Now, another thing that I want to point out is that when you remove these heads, okay, you got to go with the reverse way. So that means if you loosen this head, all right, hear me out. You start from eight, you go seven, you go six, five, four, three, two, one, all right? That's how you're supposed to remove it, okay? Uh, the manual does not tell you, give you like, you know, just like I told you, they just say reverse way, okay? So common sense, I guess, if you're really careful, uh, read those instructions, that's what they call it, all right? Now to torque it, this is the sequence. You go one, two, three, four, and so on. All right, so your first step, 72 pounds. You start one, all the way to eight, all right? Then you lose them all. Again, you lose it from eight, seven, six, so on. Lose it back again, all right? So that would be step two, all right? And step three. It would be 29, so you apply 29 here, 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 and just go all around to number eight, all right? And here it comes, a step number four, which is 90 degrees, like I show you, all right? So your first 90 degrees right there, okay? You come with first, 90 degrees. Right there. So number one, 90 degrees, all right? Number, number two, 90 degrees. Remember, they're all going to be marked like this. You got to mark in all, all, every single bolt here. One, two, three, four, all eight bolts you got to mark in with a mark like this, okay? Okay, so again, you come 90 degrees, number one, all right? Then you come number two, 90 degrees, all right? So you apply 90 degrees in every single one, all right? Then comes the last step, another 90 degrees. So here we come again. So number one. 90 degrees, all right? Number two, 90 degrees, and so on. So when you finish, you're gonna end up with all this pole facing you like this, all right? That's how easy is this steps here, all right? Um, then I would just recheck your marks. As you can see here in my head, right there, you see the mark? You see the mark? You see the mark? See, they're all facing, uh, they're all facing that way, okay, because that's how I did it. So what I did is uh, I mark it on the middle. So what I put a mark here on the middle, then I did my 90 degrees, face me, then I did another 90 degrees, and it faced that way. So as you can see, that one is facing um, right there, it's facing that way. Okay, so all my marks is going to be facing that way, like towards the middle of the... Uh, the cylinder head all right guys uh hope you like this um this video give me a thumbs up uh have a nice day and god bless you